Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's your boy Megalugi here, aka The Chosen One, and today we're going to be looking at another competitive guide, today focusing on Mimikyu. We'll be looking at movesets, typings, damage calcs, team options, and more. Now in these beginning stages of the meta, I do want to say that these are going to be works in progress, so take these as version 1.0. There will be some room for improvement, so if there's anything you want to add, make sure to let me know down below, subscribe for more Sun and Moon, and without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, today we're going to be looking at the cute little munchkin that is Mimikyu and they gave it the awesome typing of Ghost Fairy. Having said that, Ghost Fairy is only weak to two things being Ghost and Steel. You lose that poison weakness because of the ghost typing and you lose that dark weakness because of the fairy typing. And offensively, you are super effective against dark, fighting, ghost, psychic, and dragon. Fairy ghost has to be one of the most OP typings and I love that they gave it to Mimikyu. You are also immune to not one, not two, but three typings of normal, fighting, and dragon. Mimikyu is already looking like a beast of a Pokemon. Next onto its stats, you can see that we are rocking out with 55 base HP, 90 attack, 80 defense, 50 special attack, 105 special defense, and 96 speed. So it's looking like a pretty well rounded Pokemon, having some decent attack and good speed as well, and decent bulk to live hits on both sides. 96 speed is workable as well, outseating the likes of Pokemon like Mamoswine, Heatran, Tapu Lele, and Lucario. But probably the biggest selling point of Mimikyu is its ability called Disguise. If you're unaware, Disguise is a new ability introduced this gen which is really awesome basically giving you a free substitute on your first turn. The first turn that you send Mimikyu out you will take no damage, once you take damage the quote unquote substitute or Disguise will break and then things will go back to normal. But it's really cool because you have one turn to set up or do whatever you want basically taking no damage and having a free turn. Now moving on to an overview of this Pokemon, so like I said, Disguise is a very unique ability, basically a free substitute evading status and whatever from the like. 96 speed is workable like I said, outspeeding the likes of Dragonite who can't hit you with an extreme speed, Lucario, Tapu Lele, and Zygarde. Your great typing plus your decent bulk allows you to survive a lot of attacks that you may not think. It has decent coverage in the moves like Play Rough, Shadow Claw, Leech Life, Shadow Sneak, as well as other moves like Sword Dance, will o -Wisp, Thunder Wave, Taunt, Bulk Up, and Pain Split. But moving on to the first potential moveset, you can see the moves that we are rocking with are Sword Dance, Shadow Sneak, Play Rough, and either will o -Wisp, Thunder Wave, or Shadow Claw. You're going to be going with the Adamant Nature with an EV spread of either 252 attack, 252 speed, or 128 HP, max attack with 128 speed. Going max attack max speed allows you to outspeed Pokemon like Tapu Bulu, max speed Rotom and offensive Heatran as well. However, if you choose to go with more of a bulky spread with 128 HP and 128 speed, you can outspeed Pokemon like Max Speed Adamant Buzzwool. It's really up to you and what your preferred playstyle is, but those are just the options. As for the item, you're going to be rocking with either the Life Orb or the Weakness Policy. Weakness Policy is there if your opponent wants to go for a super effective move, like a Shadow Ball on an Aegislash, or an Iron Head on a Bisharp. And Life Orb is there because Weakness Policy has been going around a bit, so if your opponent is reluctant to click that super effective move, you can still go for the Life Orb and get some damage off. Of course, the idea with this set is to set up a Sword Dance on your first turn behind that Disguise, get up to plus 2 and either Shadow Sneak your opponent, play rough if you outspeed, or you can even go for a Will-O-Wisp or Thunder Wave to allow you to live even more hits and set up even further. Shadow Claw is there if you want to be able to hit really hard without the priority of Shadow Sneak, but either way, either one works. The next set is pretty much going to be the same moves with the same EV spread except you change out Shadow Claw for Leech Life, you keep the Adam in nature, and you go for the Ghost DMZ as your item. If you're unaware, Ghost DMZ is the Ghost Type Z move which can only be used once per battle and when in combination with a Ghost Type move, converts into a really really high base power move. So the idea is you still set up a Sword Dance behind that disguise on the first turn, go for Shadow Sneak but with the Ghost DMZ intact turns into a 100 type base power move, Ghost type physical with still having that priority. Obviously it can only be used once per battle so use it wisely but instead of having a 40 type base power move with priority, you now have that 100 base power. That is going to hit really hard and honestly makes Mimikyu so much more of a threat. And the last set, and probably my favorite, is going to be a different one with the moves of Splash. Yes, you read that as Splash. I will get onto that with Shadow Sneak, Play Rough, Thunder Wave, or Leech Life. The natures are going to be either Adamant or Jolly holding the Normalium Z. And the EVs are either going to be Max Attack, Max Speed with the Jolly Nature, or again, 128 HP, Max Attack, 128 Speed with an Adamant Nature. Now let's get to the elephant in the room, which is the Splash. So if you're unaware, Splash in combination with Normalium Z gives you plus 3 attack. Yes, that useless move of Splash finally has a use now, giving you plus 3 attack when you click on it and have the normal EMZ as your item. So that in combination with the EV spread is why you might want to go with a Jolly Nature now since you are going to get plus 3 attack behind that sub, it can outspeed a lot more Pokemon. 
but if you feel like you want to go with a more defensive spread with the adamant nature or even max speed with adamant, it is really up to you and your playstyle. But nonetheless, getting a plus 3 attack boost for free with splash is going to be really nice and you can plow through your opponent's team late game. Now for some quick damage calcs, a plus 2 Shadow Sneak, 2 8 kills the likes of Tapu Koko, Aegis Slash, Defensive Aloma Marowak, and Necrozima. A plus 2 Play Rough, 2 8 kills the likes of Ronan Wash, Tapu Fini, Hippowdon, and Nilego. A plus 2 Never Ending Nightmare, which is the Z move in combination with Shadow Sneak, which becomes 100 base power. Oko's Crobat after Stealth Rocks, 89% min versus a Magnezone, and can Oko a offensive Heatran. Now with that 128 HP investment, you are 4 hit KO'd from a shield form Aegis Slash or Shadow Sneak, 86% max from a defensive Alola Marowak Shadow Bone, and 73% max from a Tapu Koko Thunderbolt. Uh, now onto some team options, so firstly you can rock out with Thunderous which gives you some Prankster Thee Wave, so you can slow your opponent's mons down and then proceed to get up to plus 2 with your Mimikyu and then not have to rely on priority and just hit them really hard. Magnezone is nice as well to trap those steel types which Mimikyu might have trouble with as well as quad resisting steel which is one of Mimikyu's weaknesses. Megalopony is also really nice as a physical sweeper with really high speed as well as being immune to one of Mimikyu's weaknesses being the ghost typing. Mandibuzz is there as well to eat up a lot of hits as well as defog any hazards away and Landorus is there as a thunderbolt immunity as well as Landorus just being a really good mon on a lot of teams. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, a competitive guy from Mimikyu, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Mimikyu seems to be the favorite Pokemon for a lot of people and it is slowly making its way into my heart as well. But until next time, it's been your boy Megalugi here checking out. Peace!